Oh no. Okay. Bear Gate. Oh, TTV. Okay. Meet the Butcher Diablo Four. My early access feedback. Oh, it's only eight minutes. Yo 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 yo. Uh, ripping a new ass. Don't care. All right, sounds good. Let's see what points Bear Kid brings up. Sweet. Yo, 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 you want to talk about Diablo 4 and my initial impressions? That's fine. Uh, good to see you guys. Hopefully your day's going well. I thought that the game was actually solid. Um, really, really impressed by the visuals, the textures in the game, the story I'm learning about, which is pretty cool. The in-game cutscenes I thought were pretty good. I'm going to go through some pros and cons, obviously, but overall for me, out of 10... Wait, the, the in-game cutscenes were pretty good, Barricade? Dude. The in-game cutscenes, like, oh, man. Chill bumps, they're so good. Anyways. <laughs> so, I'm giving this a 9-2. A 9-2, okay? They were out of sync with audio? Oh, were they? Huh. I was just... I don't know. I guess... I, I didn't notice. <laughs> They weren't for me. Yeah, maybe they weren't for me either. I did it later, though. I did it on, like, Sunday. So did they do, like, a hot fix? The subtitles were off? Huh. I read that on I read that on other reviews, too. I didn't notice. Yeah. So was it just for some people, maybe? Huh. Weird. There were a couple in the beginning that seemed unfinished. Guess I shouldn't have hit the escape key so fast. Escape key so fast, yeah. Um, huh, that's funny. Peace dog. I didn't notice. I don't know, like, if the different audio drivers or something mattered. I don't know. Nine point two out of ten. That's a little bit too generous, sir. All right, let's not see. rookie numbers. No, you know, no rookie numbers. Just not flat scores. So. I think that uh, Diablo 4 is the kind of game that we're going to need to spend some time in, right? To hit level 100, get level 15 renown, enjoy sure. a Paragon board, put in the Nightmare Sigils or use Nightmare Sigils on dungeons to really change up the way the dungeon feels. Uh, personally, for me, I didn't get bored at all. Sure. I was on this class right yeah. here, the Rogue. The Nightmare brand Sigils. New class to the game, okay. and it felt so I don't good. know much just, about them. Just speaking honestly... Um, the combat was faster paced. I come from D2R background. I've also played D3 and Diablo Immortal. I've played them all, right? And so I enjoyed the gameplay quite a bit. Like, I really did like it. I'm yeah, that guy messed that. me up, too, by out. the way. I thought it was fun. It's not D2. If you're going into this hoping that it is, it's not. Oh, so that's the same boss. That guy, like, killed me a couple of times, actually. Because I, well, first of all, it was, like, level 12 or something. And so I only had, like, dash and, like, my left and right click. <laughs> or something like that. Um, I like that they hit hard. Yeah, I do. I like it a lot. I was watching your health club. Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I don't want everything to be a breeze. Yeah, same. Not D2. If you're going into this hoping that it is, it's not. It's not D3. If you're going into this thinking that it is, it's not. It's definitely not Diablo Immortal. You can't pay to win in this game. <laughs> what you can do is uh, play the game and have some fun. Yeah, One thing agreed. that sort of struck me with the itemization of Diablo 4 is probably on beta day 3. I had a choice, right? I leveled like most other people, a one character to 25, then I started the second character at 25, and then I started working on a sorceress. I kind of got this idea. I said, well, what happens if I start to push the gear on a level 25 beta cap? What does that feel like? And so I played on my favorite class, this guy back here, the rogue, the melee rogue. I tried a range rogue too. Wasn't really impressed with that. But getting onto the gear, what what what, what happens there, right? And quickly, I noticed, hey, man, the power level of this character is going up. Wait, did you use the, the knives uh, ability? That I'm putting on my rares was significantly that, changing like, the gameplay. Does triple the damage that Barrage that does? <laughs> taking one, un one legendary ability that let me go Shadow Step. Yeah, okay. And then empower the concealment effect to then empower Shadow Step again. So it's not just piano keys and pressing, but there's actually some methodical choices going on uh, for the game. So I thought that was cool. The combat was, was great. Uh, a lot of the streams was... A lot of people being surprised about, whoa, this is just D3. It's just, I didn't, I don't see it that way. If you do, that's fine. And yeah, you Diablo 3.5 was below. annoying to read. I didn't ever get that feeling of D3. I felt like I was in a Diablo universe. And uh, I got to give the hats uh, I mentioned this earlier, Barricade, is that the, the reason why people mention it's uh, Diablo 3.5 or that it looks like Diablo 3 is that the combat is the first thing you see. And a lot of the combat, 
a lot of the skills are similar skills to D3. Uh, and so that since that's the first thing they see, it's like, oh, initial G- knee-jerk reaction, that's D3. And it's just not. It's off to all the employees, all the artists, all the concept artists, the, uh, the environmental artists, the, all, of, all of the people putting in their work into this game, you can see it. When we were in Tristram having a look at all those ghosts, like Deckard Kane's broken cage, or maybe Wirt, I don't know. Those little things are cool. It's like a, you know, a nod of the cap to me for, you know, knowing about that stuff in previous versions of the game. So I thought that was pretty cool. The beta experience, though, is not the game as a whole. It's, if anything, like a yeah. small sample size of what's up. Agreed. And from that alone, I really enjoyed it. There's supposed to be 150 dungeons at launch, and we played up to maybe 20, and then we're looking for things to do. I don't think this game's gonna have too many problems in the end game, but I don't. I can't speak in absolutes. Only Siths do that, right? I'm not doing that. Uh, I will say comfortable though. I think you should check out an open beta experience this weekend on March 24th if you get the opportunity. There's all the classes, door, though, yeah. and Druid and Necro, so that's cool. Some of the cons in the game that I felt so far was, with regards to combat, while I enjoyed it, having the builder spender mechanic on pretty much every class. Just in the beta, this is just speaking on the beta experience, I felt limited. Uh, there's an imbuement system that the rogue gets to enjoy, whether it's shadow imbuements, poison, or cold. And I wanted to use that because it applies to the next two attacks that I would use, being specific here. However, I don't want that to overtake one of my main use, use skills, like concealment or shadow step. So I oftentimes just didn't even pick up an imbuement, even though it was great, because I liked the idea of playing this skulking rogue that would kind of navigate into combat or get out of the situation entirely and shadow step somewhere else. I enjoyed that gameplay, so I stuck to that at the detriment of not having a hot swap UI, which lets me keybind additional skills behind it, such as, we'll say, shadow imbuements, right? That's your choice. Like, you can choose to play that way. What? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, you're saying that's limiting, but you're choosing to play the way you want to play. What? I don't know. I mean, am I wrong here? I think that he's saying he wants a, uh, an alt button set up, like D2R on console. Hmm. Uh, so one thing I did notice is like your your main ability or like your main left click ability. Like nobody puts more than one point here. Um, maybe having this go up with like increasing the energy or like the spirit or the uh, rage or mana or whatever you're getting. Um, maybe leveling that up gives more of that or something. Uh, so there's a use here, but like nobody's leveling this to do damage because your damage abilities are down here. So this upgrading this to do more damage, just, I don't know. I guess once you're, since you're only limited to six skills, eventually you'll come back and level this up once you get enough points and you've maxed out other things. I don't know. Or Caltrops to slow things down. Many situations I'd want to do that, and I don't have that ability because I have six skills. While it's true I could press S to have this fly open menu and then reassign a skill, I'm still on <laughs> cooldown for that skill. I like how you decline someone in the middle of your video. You're just like, I'm in the middle talking here. <laughs> Not right now. I'll decline. <laughs> We'll party later. <laughs> I had to do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, imagine that for a moment you're level higher uh, than level 25 and say you're 50 with the way we're playing. I think it would be nice to add other skills like Caltrops into my rotation as an example. Hmm. Instead of like, yeah, just having more abilities to have... Uh, than just six. Maybe unlocking like an extra skill slot. That would be cool. So you get that one extra skill slot and now you get seven skills you can choose from. That's what I mean in essence, yeah. Yeah, I mean like as you get later into the game, like you get your seventh skill at 50, you get a you know, another one at 100 or 75 or whatever, 90. Um, so you have like eight 
but um, you still have to balance around having more abilities available to you. So the abilities you currently have will be weaker. They have to be in order to balance having extra abilities available to you. So it's just a balance issue, I see. But having more abilities to play with that have less value. Uh, I don't know. There's a balance there somewhere. Because if you have like all 50 abilities available to you, then they're just going to be doing... I mean, you're you're in an, literally in an MMO at that point. <laughs> um, so, where you have to have like 100 hotkeys. Oh, man. Anyways. Wait, does uh, do console players play WoW? I don't know that. I literally don't know if, like, does is WoW played on console? WoW's PC only. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I've never <laughs> stone barricade. <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> After I've used it, so that's a problem. I would like to have, if I could choose a number, six more skills. And if I happen to fill up that bar, then great. If not, then okay. Six but that in, in, in and of itself would be paradigm shifting enough in the build customization for a level 100 character with 15 or or renown and a paragon board to go like, Okay, there's something here. It's not just six skills. So that, I think, would be very advantageous for any build in Diablo 4 based off a of level 25 beta. That'd be cool. Another party foul in terms sure. of, like, cons of Diablo 4 from just the beta experience alone was the ability... Yeah, I mean, like you said, six more skills. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Like, having more skills available to you uh, would be cool. I mean, like I said, it's a balance issue, so... How do you balance around having those extra abilities? Uh, I'm not sure. That's not my job. <laughs> ability to join other people for dungeon grinding or get on a team to get more XP and play together. I found that this is constantly a, an issue and people had conflicting results. Some people could get on a team because they were in the clan that I was in or they had another clan that we started or they were on Battle.net with friends. Like if you're a friend on Battle.net, that's cool. You could play other circumstances you could not six is so the feel of my the chat yeah. was very limited in the game in that people were not able to keep up with the conversation of clan chat because the window is very small so it'd be nice to customize that and maybe enlarge or like improve the amount of chat that you can see in the game because it seemed to be an issue finding groups to play together i'm Ooh. very much a community guy that's a so good I'm point do everything i can do to play with you to help you in, in a tough spot and uh, yeah. if that gets rectified in the full game then that's great uh and I so <laughs> On Max Roll, our clan, uh, we have, I think we've hit our maximum requests. Like, you can't even request to join our clan anymore. Um, I think, or something like that. Um, and we, we've maxed out our members. We had to kick people to, like, get people like me in, I think. Or, I, I don't think I had to kick anybody, or get anybody kicked out for me. I joined pretty early-ish. But... Yeah, um, Jim is exclusive AF. Yeah, that's me. But yeah, no, that's a good point. Like your clan chat, I like. If people, if there were people talking, like especially when the clan boss or the uh, clan boss, Jesus, I'm going in the raid chat. I'm just here. Um, <laughs> when the world boss spawned. Um, oh, raid chat legends sponsor me. Thank you. Um. <laughs> the world boss spawned. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, yeah, the chat was going wild, right? Like people were trying to find groups. Um, and that could be really, really difficult to actually organize or even like join up with somebody if the chat's just, you can't even keep up with it. Uh, yeah, I agree. That's a good point. F for big, you know, community clans. That would be a, a major deal. I think that needs to be addressed. Uh, just having scrolled through this, uh, just having the skills scroll through on the mouse wheel like D2R would be fine. Um, 
I don't necessarily agree with that, Bilbo. If you have access to all your skills, you have to really tune down all all the skills because if you're able to do fireball, chain lightning, you know, all these abilities, all these cooldown abilities, like all these ultimates, and you have access to all of them all at the, you know, all at the same time, that seems a little bit problematic to me. Um so why do you need a group for the world boss? Uh, because apparently you have like level sevens, uh, chumming in and, you know, trying to just get in on the loot of the world boss, but can't actually contribute and they just res people. <laughs> That's why. So you need to have groups that are high enough level. And this also comes back to my point about how you shouldn't see people that are so many levels below you. Probably like a good percent would be like 15% or something. If you see somebody that's like, if it, you're level 20 and it's 15%, you don't see somebody that's below level 17. You only see 17s up to 23s in that range. And so that would feel a lot better, especially if you're a level 25 and you're trying to do a world boss that's level 25 like in this beta, for example, and 15%, so they're like level 21, 22, is the lowest levels you see. That'd be excellent. That'd be great. Um, so. Or maybe just every five levels, so like one through fives see each other, five through tens, if that would be easier to code or whatever. So, you know, five through tens see each other, tens through 15, etc. Like, I guess it would be 11 through 15 and 6 through 10, but yeah. And so you have these level ranges that you see. And so, bam, I hit level 30, and now I see, well, I guess it would have to be 31, and now I see level 31s through 35s instead of seeing, you know, all the way down to 25s or 26s to 30s. Jeez. But it wouldn't feel that bad to see a 26 as a level 30, or I guess it wouldn't see, feel that bad to see a level 21 as a level 25, right? Trying to do the same boss fight. Four levels is a little bit weaker, but like it's not, you know, it's not like a level 7 or 8 trying to fight a level 25 boss and doing nothing. Like literally doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Ideal situation would yeah, be like it's a timed fight. Having more than so. just clan chat or local chat or anything like that like a a dedicated sorry uh the world boss wasn't that difficult tiefly if you didn't have it if you didn't run into the problem of having multiple low levels in your world zone i the first time i tried it i had i think three low levels like three people that were like i think like 13 8 and i think there was two 13s i think there was like a 17 as well I didn't count him, but like in my mind, I was like, we have three low levels out of the potential 12 people that you can have at a world boss. And uh, we got the world boss down to like 10%. And that's because I think the other high levels also sucked at the game <laughs> that I was playing with that sucked um, to play with. After I figured out the boss mechanics, I stopped dying as much. And there were multiple times after the boss had gotten down to like half HP. Like, I'd figure out the mechanics at that point and was like, okay, I can dodge these abilities by either standing, like, you know, near his backside, because the front side, he's going to bite and kill you, or standing outside the zone of his, like, swipes, because I was playing on a Sork, so I could just cast from range. And so I'm sitting here, like, dodging, and then I see everybody wipe. I'm standing at his backside, and he turns to me. So I teleport away, and he just charges after me. I'm like, and that happened multiple times after he got to half HP. I'm like, everybody just wiped? Great. Like, I guess it's just me and you, bud, until my team gets back. <laughs> uh, But yeah, I got RNG'd hard there. So... That's what I'm saying. Like seeing low levels in those fights, that's a bad feeling. Uh, that was my favorite fight, and that like really was like 
somebody pissed in my water because all I drink is water. And I'm out of water now. <laughs> Ability to do damage. Yeah. Power overwhelming. Why can't low levels even zone into world bosses if they can't contribute? I don't know. Maybe for the challenge of it or something. Like if you could have like a really cool challenge would be like having six to ten. Like, you know, because you're if you're in these level ranges, having like a six to ten group of guys that have like these items that they found on a higher level character that have a low level requirement. And then like you gear up your character and see if you can take down a world boss because you just have powerful items for your level 10 character. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe. I don't know. Like I'm just spitballing here, but yeah. Yeah. That's basically where I'm getting at himbo is like seeing levels, not soup so low from you in the game. Um, like Barricade sees a level 5 right here on his level 25 character. If this guy's in his world boss fight, he's not doing anything. He's just not. He's a barbarian too. He's literally doing nothing because he can't even get close to the boss. And even if he does get close to the boss, he doesn't do any damage. So. Channel for just communication I think would be really good. Or sister clans, or things like that. So man, we went down a chat, rabbit hole there. All of the clans you're associated yeah, with. I agree with the clan like under one chat. Banner. Think about or one banner the called chat like in general. people before pixels, and then below that is clans A B C D E F G. Just to away from the boss. <laughs> this way, we've opened up the lines of communication, so you don't feel like you're actually on your own in an MMO ARPG, which several people did, unfortunately, um, in this experience. I didn't have a good that point. burr rune, that jaw rune moment from D2R. If you know what I'm saying, it's where you're playing and that item drops that yeah. just increases the power level of that character or changes the way the build is for that character. I hadn't found that yet. Some legendaries for that rogue that I spoke to earlier, that felt a lot stronger and I felt the power of the character improve, but it wasn't staggering like, oh my God. Like it wasn't Warglaves uh, in WoW. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't a burr or jaw to make Enigma in D2R. So I'm waiting to see that. Yep. I'm waiting to have that dopamine kick in D4. And I think that's going to arrive when I get a unique. Uniques are hard to hit in this game, or at least that's what we're told. So if the case is that I have to wait to hit that unique, like if we're just playing a game and I hit that unique and it it is nuts. But here's the thing. The only... I, I'm trying to think. In D2R, if you even hit Blood Fists at level 9, is the earliest you can use them, you don't necessarily get that major dopamine fix that you get when you find a burr or jaw to be able to make enigma um but burr and jaw are late game and so and we're in the early game of the beta so maybe there is that like you said the, the uniques so that's probably Thanks, what McCall. i'm waiting for man that's the get up and dance moment and get in there right this game has it harlequin crest experience Hasn't exposed that to me yet. I will That's change the, the name of Shaco. Piece, right? I'm just kidding. I know it's Fine. in the game. I'm salivating to get into it, but I can't have it yet. When I get there, I bet you I feel a hell of a lot different about this game. I already love it. And it might push that 9-2 up to a gentleman's closer to a 10, right? A little bit north. Who knows? Can't wait to see it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That's my honest, that's my raw dog feedback right there for you. And I, I, I'd like to read what you guys think, right? If you're going to tell me the game's trash, then be honest about it, man. If you think the game's fantastic, stand up for what you believe in and let me know. Ultimately, I want to be a I community agree. content creator that makes your day better just by hanging out. And you guys do that for me pretty much every single time. So thank you for that. Much love to you guys. Uh, you're fantastic. Tell somebody you think they're great because you are. And I'll catch you on the next one. Adios, guys. Wow. How many people did you just tell they're great, Barricade? 2,300. Man. Whew. That's a... That's tough. How do I tell this many people they're great? Hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of great peeps. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad uh, your YouTube's starting to take off, by the way. Congrats. You uh, putting in some work there. I noticed you like started not that long ago, so sick, man. Life goes by far too fast. Yeah, exactly. So you're great, Barricade.
<laughs> Nobody uh, said it back to you, so there you go. Uh, when I want to feel good about myself, I raid Barricade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, McCall. Yeah. I do the same for you. <laughs> um... Nice. Peace. Don't twist my words. <laughs> Kate builds me up. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sure that's what you meant. Uh, with five peoples. You're a beast and barricade. You're a beast, barricade, and BT's voice. Ah. Beast. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to try to do what BT does. He's on another level. Beast. There. I did it. And it will never happen again. I took over his stream for 10 minutes when we got that 8-man hardcore world record. Oh, dude. Holy crap. <sighs> that just, like, hurts the heart. <laughs> Speed running, eight man hardcore. It's like if you die, you let down seven of your teammates, and like you have to start over. And oh man, it just like feels bad on top of bad. Like dying, starting over, letting down your teammates. Yeah, it whew, unreal pressure when you're close to the finish line. Yeah, and then we've also like. We've only had a few deaths happen after, like, post normal. So, like, once you get through normal, nightmare and hell, we just have this set, this setup that, like, just it's rare for someone to die after that, except for the, and now that we've done it on the limo sork, it's a little bit more sketch. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like, man. Both Beast and Barricade are great. Oh, no. Those commercials are still haunting me to this day. I missed D4 already. Yeah, I wish I could play right now. And I would want to try out the Barbarian because I didn't get a chance to. Uh, being sick on Saturday sucked. And I didn't get to play very much that day. I uh, feel like I opened my Christmas gift and then had put them back in the box. Yeah, I mean, and this open beta, like, people from this beta will be like, okay, good game, or didn't enjoy it, gonna refund it. Great, you found out you didn't like the game. Um, I think that'll apply to some, it seems like, PoE players. Uh, maybe, like, Quinn. He just seems, I don't know. He said the game felt great, but then, like, trashes it the entire time, so... Uh, anyways, um, but yeah, he's got PoE. He can go back to that. I think PoE players are going to have their game and D4 will be just a different game. Uh, it's not going to be PoE. It's not going to be D3 and it's not going to be D2. Like you said in this video, um, it's its own game and it's a solid game. It, like I said, it, I, who said it earlier? Like it, it's it's like Minecraft, <laughs> where it feels better to play than to watch. Watching doesn't quite give you the sense that the pl playing it does. Um, when I first watched Minecraft, I thought it was the stupidest game. I thought, why would anybody play this pixel league game? And then I played the game, and I had a blast playing Minecraft. I really enjoyed it. It's like almost like that with this game. It's almost the exact same thing. Except this game looks way better. <laughs> so, uh, Llama told the dungeons most of the time the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that was what I pointed out was uh, the dungeons felt a little too repetitive, right? If they just add in a little bit of spice into the dungeons, um, just like a little neat idea each time, um, you're not going to feel so repetitive. And it'll be a blast. Like, th this will bump this game all the way, like I said, to like a 9.5 for me. 
9, 9.5. Right now, I like I said, this game's like an 8. I think dungeons make a big difference. Like, would make a big difference um, if they just adjusted that. Like, literally, I think everybody except for Barricade's video here, <laughs> since I've watched a lot of stuff on the, um and read a lot, most people have addressed dungeons need something. Some spice. And the little bit of spice that they did put in dungeons, I think, which I didn't run into myself, was the butcher, right? That's a that's a little bit of spice, but that's not enough, <laughs> and it's I didn't run into it, so I didn't get to experience it. Um, but if there was stuff like that, that would be that'd be great. More stuff like that. People love the butcher. Why not add something? Butcher wrecked my world. Yeah. Now you can't do. Yeah, he's like the Rakanishu. That's a great point. Holy crap. Um, uh, we, <laughs> we need to have more of that like later on as well. But yeah, Rakanishu. Oh, I love that. That's good.